Hi, my name is Kara and I'm a pattern designer. I've been selling my crochet patterns on Etsy for about one year now. So I wanted to share all of my stats and analytics from my Etsy shop with you guys, just in case it's useful for anyone just getting started. I'm gonna show you guys my dashboard. Then I'm gonna show you a breakdown of the stats for each month on my Notion template. And if you wanna check out the template I'm using, I'm going to link it down below. So here on my dashboard for the period August 2023 to August 2024, I have a total of 4,337 visits, 201 orders, a 4.6% conversion rate, and a revenue of 1,133.38 cents. So please note that my average ticket, so the amount of each sale is fairly low because I'm just selling patterns. So my lowest listing price is a dollar and my highest listing price is six dollars. So the average sale that I get is pretty small. Since my patterns are digital products, all I have to do is publish each listing with a downloadable PDF. And then once that is published, I don't really have to do any maintenance for that and I don't have to ship any products. So this is sort of like a passive income for me, which I really enjoy. So right now my revenue isn't crazy. As you can see, it's just a thousand over a whole year, but it is pretty nice, like pocket money. I can definitely buy a couple bobas every month with this. So this doesn't include any of the fees I'm paying or any of my business expenses like buying yarn to make the patterns but the growth is still very promising and i'm getting a steady amount of money each month so this graph shows all my visits for each month of the year and you can see i started at zero in august and then it steadily grew with the most in february and then it dropped march april may because i took a break from social media completely but it is starting to pick up since I came back a couple months ago. So December 2023 was when I released two of my most popular patterns. And then I think I dropped another one in January. So then that helps my store grow quite a bit. You can see my orders also spiked in December when I released those patterns. And then I guess I was releasing patterns people weren't very interested in. So my stats fell off here. My conversion rate has been fairly the same. My highest was 7%, my lowest was 2.4. So my conversion rate for the year was 4.6%, which is pretty good. Etsy states that a strong conversion rate is 3 to 5%, and I'm definitely in that range, so I'm happy about that. And then you can see my revenue also reflects like my visits and my orders. So the most revenue I had this year was $265 in December. And then it dropped off and kind of averaged out to about 100 a month. And then you can see even though I took my break between March and May and my visits also dropped, my revenue was somewhat still steady. So I was still earning passive income even though I wasn't putting any time into my social media or into my Etsy, so that's pretty nice. We love passive income. So here is my Notion page that I created to see the month-to-month -month breakdown of my Etsy stats. These are the stats you can see on Etsy. But Etsy has more of a summary. I wanted to see every month's stats for each kind of category so I can more easily compare my month-to-month -month differences. It's 13 months because I didn't include this month even though it's not finished yet. So here's the month and then I listed the patterns that I posted that month and then the listings will add up all those patterns. So it shows how many listings I had at each month and then the total visits, the orders I got, what the, my conversion rate was, and then the revenue from all those orders the fees I paid to Etsy, if I did any marketing. I didn't in the beginning, but I started doing that recently. It shows the revenue if I got any from those ads. So the net profit is my revenue minus any fees or marketing. And that is the actual amount that I receive in my bank account. So in December was when I had two of my most popular patterns published. So after I posted those two, my sale 
basically skyrocketed from $40 to $265, which was which is still the most I've ever gotten in a month. And then eventually it died off. I was still making sales in the next month and then the next month, but because I wasn't publishing any patterns that people were interested in, it kind of fell off and I didn't have many listings on my Etsy. And then March, April, May, I took that break, so my sales went down for a bit. The lowest I received was $65 in a month of March, and that was the month I didn't do any social media or work on my Etsy or postings or listings or anything and I still got $65 so I can't really complain. And then May was when I started to get back to Etsy and I posted some more patterns. So recently the last three months I've been posting more patterns and I have a total of 19 listings on my Etsy right now. But I didn't update this so the orders I have for August 23, 23 orders. I put in the notes here that I received these two payments from my friends, $18 and then $50. And those two were the only plushies I've ever sold on my Etsy shop. The rest are just patterns. So Etsy ads, I did try Etsy ads a couple times, you can see here, but it doesn't always, I don't always get my money back. So like in June, I spent $7 on my Etsy ads. So I spent a dollar a day for seven days. And then I only got one sale, which gave me a revenue of 4.46. Um, so I lost money in that month. And then I lost money, you can see, in the previous two months. I don't really remember. I think I just like tried the ad for a day and then I turned it off. Then I tried Etsy ads this month. So far I've done $31 and I've received $32 back. So I made less than a dollar profit from using ads but at least it's a positive and i'm very interested in seeing how the ads will work for me in the future so previously i shared my total revenue and that's what etsy showed me but my actual net profit so my revenue minus any fees or marketing was actually 878 dollars and 97 cents so quite a bit of fees have been paid to etsy um, but I, again, I can't complain because these are digital products, I don't have to ship them out, and they also give me a decent sized customer base just from them being Etsy, so that's why I'm paying all the fees. But hopefully I can start driving my traffic to my actual website so that I don't have to pay these crazy fees. I think my fees are about 15%. But if I were to get the sale on my website, it would actually be like 2% fee. So I'm really hoping I can drive my traffic to my website instead. But of course, I'm still going to have my Etsy shop open because, because I still receive customers through Etsy and not them actually knowing me through my social media. And then I have a chart here just for the net profit. It's very similar to the graph on the dashboard for revenue, but this graph actually shows my net profit, so minus all fees and marketing. And since it's not the end of August yet, I'm expecting my revenue to be a little bit higher than it's showing right now. And hopefully it's gonna be in a positive trajectory and that will make me super happy just to see my growth go up instead of just plateauing like it's been doing recently. So right now the chart is showing net profit, but if you want to change net profit to any other of the numerical stats, you can easily change it on the top right over here where the three dots are. Click that. Um, X-axis should be the date. And then the Y-axis, you can change it to any other numerical stat. So say I want to see my orders instead. I would choose the sum of my orders. So it show me how many orders I've received every month. And then I can change it to, I can change it to visits, revenue, anything like that. I can see it here on the same chart. So this is the breakdown for my entire year. I just like to see it month to month because on Etsy, you have to hover for the stats to show 
um, and I manually inputted all my stats into here except the conversion rate and the net profit that is calculated through the database. So if you're interested in using this template that I created for your own Etsy shop, I'm going to link it down below and I hope that it's useful for you in some way. So yeah, that was a very realistic breakdown of a first year on Etsy and even though the numbers aren't that glamorous, I'm pretty proud of where I am now. It's a very nice side hustle that I've created for myself and of course, again, it's passive income. I'm definitely, definitely glad that I got started. If you've been considering selling your patterns, I would highly, highly encourage you to do so. Even if you just have one pattern on Etsy, it can get you a decent amount of money. So I hope this video was useful for anyone who's getting started. I'm going to have another video talking about all my tips for Etsy and all my regrets. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe so that you'll get a notification when I post that video. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.